zoom out for a minute. Nice, it's live now. Okay, that just took a few tries, folks. Uh, we're here now, so I can close that off. I'll keep this open. So, welcome, welcome to the live stream. We're currently in uh, Clark Park here in uh, on the east side of Vancouver. Clark Park is, of course, nice. It's just rocking and rolling. Everything's good. Um, just give me a sec. Let me try something. Everything's good. Just gonna check out a few more settings before we head on off because it's gonna be a busy, busy place that we're going to today. We're going over to Italian Festival. Okay, it looks like the microphone's set. So let's go back to the live stream. Hey, Chris Chera, nice to see you. What's up? Uh, what's up? We're here in Clark Park today and it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's not too hot, not too cold. Uh, last time I checked, it was around 9 degrees, so that'll be interesting to see. Or 19 degrees. <laughs> hey, you do these live streams. Sometimes it just gets, uh, you get your words tied in knots. Hey, Dutch Kevin, nice to see you too. So, Clark Park is uh, where we are right now, okay, and uh, we are technically just below <laughs> the drive. So we'll walk over to Commercial Drive here, and then we'll walk over to Little Italy, and we'll check out Italian Day Festival. There might be a few times that I need to mute the mic, uh, just to let you know, uh, because a lot of these stars today who will be on the stages are either the local community or they're just famous. <laughs> so it's one or the other. I won't know who's famous and who's not. I'm not an expert on it. It's more of an Italian field, but their music's probably copyright <laughs> if they're playing it. Um, and uh, <laughs> nice to see you too, Manish Play. Very, very cool. <laughs> So we're over at East 14th Street here. You can see, you know, regular Vancouver drivers. They're just hovering around. They're still cautious, but they're, <laughs> they're not stopping at the white line. And they're hovering around and they're looking for parking spots down here. <laughs> Which is rather interesting to see. <laughs> I haven't seen people looping uh, for a good parking spot in a long time. <laughs> so, very entertaining, especially here in Vancouver, because this is going to be one of my first major events that I'm live streaming. So, we'll head on over there. Of course, I, I live streamed the opening night of the Science World Farmers Market, but that was more of a fluke. And so, such is life. <laughs> I'll keep going here. So we're at East 13th. After East 13th is East 12th. And then eventually we'll slowly get more and more business-like on this street and then get on over to uh, East Broadway. And then after the SkyTrain station, that's where, and North Grandview, and that's where the events are scheduled to start. So you'll see the crowds get thicker as we go on. Managed Place says, what's the festival called again? Uh, the festival is called Italian Day. <laughs> and it's going to be in Vancouver's Little Italy on Commercial Drive. And that stretch of the drive is also known as The Drive. And it just uh, has a lot of different restaurants, cafes, bars, a few thrift stores. And it's really just a, a, one of the foodie paradises here in uh, East Vancouver. There's also a whole slew of other businesses that support the area as well, like hairstylists and uh, <clears throat> that type of thing. <laughs> and of course the Italian Day Square is down here as well. Um, they're also over in the Sunrise Hastings neighborhoods. 
but they're also down here. So you'll see uh, that as well, and that's why uh, uh, Italian Day is hosted here in Little Italy. So we're at the intersection of East 12th and Commercial Broadway. And we'll cross the street here. There we go. <laughs> get some pizza along the way. Well, I might get some pizza afterwards. <laughs> but not while I'm filming, just so that I can manage everything. <laughs> hey. Oh, we'll keep going. There's <laughs> Vancouverites having fun as usual. So this should be a good time. We'll see what's going on here. <laughs> Just passing one of the local liquor stores down here. Just south of East Broadway. There's a bunch of nice uh, restaurants down here as well that you can get. Like there's an Ethiopian restaurant, a doll restaurant, a roti doll restaurant, and there's a, a bit more than that too. So, like there is a pizza place down here. That's apparently really good on this side of East Broadway, on the south side. <laughs> and that'll be across the street. I'll point that out. I took a thumbnail with one of my Little Italy videos uh, in the past. That would be the Little Italy videos for Vancouver, not Toronto. And I uh, took a shot of that sign for the pizza. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. It's a really colorful entrance, so it's really nice to see. Like, lots of bright colors in there. Got uh, red and yellow in their logos. You can start to see getting a bit of the crowds. Coalescing. People coming in and people coming out. You can especially see that ahead, just down the street. Not so much immediately around me. <laughs> so this is uh, East 10th Street we're gonna cross, walking on a commercial drive here. And there's the Yummy Slice Pizza. That's a nice pizza shop over there. And they have yummy slices all over town, including on Davies Street in the downtown core. Actually, be technically over in the upper side of the West End. <laughs> and here is Scotiabank Plaza ahead of us, as well as the BMO. It's a little bit of a bank center here down at uh, Commercial Drive in East Broadway. You got a Bank of Montreal, you got a Scotiabank, and you have a CIBC on the other side of the street. One dollar a slice? Uh, no, not necessarily. It's hard to find one dollar a slice in Vancouver. I haven't found it yet. <laughs> Man, this play was just asking if there was one dollar a slice. If it was advertised, then just let me go roll back and take a look at that. How do you see? They got a bit of a crowd on the other side as well. I had to take the Sky Train over here, folks. So if you are watching, wondering what's going on, uh, it's best to take the Sky Train over here if you can. It's just a little easier. I'm gonna cross the street here. We're at uh, Commercial Drive and East Broadway.
And we're just waiting because the uh, East Broadway bus is still able to come on in here and do tur turnarounds. So we're just being cautious here. And police are managing it really well, so that's awesome. This is going to be a big crowd for Vancouver. In Toronto, you see these types of crowds for your small little festivals. <laughs> for Toronto, they're small little street festivals, but over here, this will be a big festival for Vancouver. Of course, because we do have a smaller population. Here's Don Air Dude right there. I love Don Air Dude. So good. Excuse me, thank you. Here's the subway entrance over here. <laughs> Man, it's, it's the same here in my area. One dollar places aren't common unless we're in New York City. New York City, yeah. I had a friend who recently was visiting Vancouver. I was talking about a trip to New York City. He was talking about all the things that he could get for cheap prices. And pizza was definitely one of them. Didn't necessarily say one dollar slice, but he said, oh, and the pizza. The pizza is so cheap and affordable and the slices are huge. So, I could see where you're going with that managed play. <laughs> Over here, there's several nice pizza places. So, but you'll be paying a bit more than, probably a bit more than one dollar slice. <laughs> Quite a bit more. That's okay, that's just how it is. We got a local busker over here doing their thing. Now a really good setup going on. <laughs> and people handing out things that <laughs> I'm not really interested in, but good on them for handing it out. Now we can walk up the street today, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look on one side of the street, at the stalls, and then we'll look at the other side of the street. Because how often do I get to walk up the middle of the commercial drive? North and south. Not very often. There's our police force doing an awesome job. Oh my gosh, this is huge. I haven't seen crowds like this in forever. <laughs> this is this is pretty big because this is a multi-lane highway. This isn't like, you know, the go west fast or the do west fast, which is just like a, a four lane. Like, there's multiple lanes here, including the parking lanes. Like, this is huge. Like, look at this. Wow. So, welcome to Little Italy <laughs> and Italian Fest. Each of these stalls is uh, one of these local restaurants. Like, Jam Jar over here is right over there. Jam Jar is right behind it. Ah, lots of people. I'm going to have to be navigating and dipping in and out of different groups. <laughs> this is quite busy. So if you are down here and you're in Vancouver right now, this is definitely one of the places to go. Here's Hux. That's more one of the trucks that's in the neighborhood regularly. Food trucks. They do donuts and stuff like that. Then of course you're gonna have these vendor stalls as well with all of these good wares over here that you can check out. Oh wow, just look at that. Looks like they got a little garbage service over here too. That's good to see. And of course, pet food stand for the pet pantry. So really giving you a local vibe over here. But there's also vendor stalls as well. Like there's a sign up for vendor stalls that was available online. Looks like these folks are doing some kind of meat pocket. Oh, this would be a good alternative for me for uh, Jamaican patties. Yeah. <laughs> this one looks like it's stuffed with cheese. And then over at the ice cream stand, they got Cookie Monster, Chocolate Ganache, Lemon Cello, Tea Rasmussu, Raspberry, and Mango Passion.
<laughs> Let's go see what the local JJ Bean's like right now. It's pretty packed. Yeah, like look, there's the lineup right at the door here. Wow. See what their patio is like. Patio ain't completely packed. And it's nice and shady, so. JJ Bean Patty, if you want to be somewhere, might be the place to go. This is awesome. <laughs> so many people. <laughs> There's a stage over here. Now we're coming up, you can kind of hear it on the microphone. There's Nina's pierogies, regular in the market scene. It's interesting we saw Nina's over here today because she does have a booth over at um, the Kitsilano Farmer's Market, which was today. Of course, you know, like, it's easy to get family members to do something different. I'm just going to mute it for a sec, folks. Oh wow, that was so much loud. So loud. It's fun, but like, you really gotta get back in the crowd. There's a roasted a cheese. They do kind of like a grilled cheese kind of thing. Cool. <laughs> they'll keep going here. <laughs> Here's the culture, recreation cultural center. They got different types of things, including cotty candy. Very, very cool. Love this. And these guys do ice cream bars. Check them out. <laughs> Sushi Bill's patio is filled for once. I haven't seen that filled in a while. This is cool. Sorry, I'm gagging. And of course, if you are coming down here today to Italian Fest, it's on till 9 p.m. So there's plenty of time to get down here. There's washrooms uh, on each of these side streets. There's also a map available. So very cool. There goes another walk tuber right now doing the job in the red hat. <laughs> they didn't even see it. I just decided to come down here and do a live stream just because I'll beat all the other walk tubers who are gonna like race to uh, <laughs> make their videos as fast as possible to see if they could be the first one to get it out. <laughs> Here's where you can get some potato spirals. And they got a lot. Look at this pack of people here. This is awesome. Go people. <laughs> it's a bit crowded here. This is a little bit of a funnel, so I'm going to hold up the camera for a minute. I am not going to be able to move around people until I get through the funnel. That was actually created by the Hurricane Potato. So over at the Hurricane Potato, there's a little funnel. <laughs> people funnel you got to watch out for. Wow. Here's uh, the CIBC. <laughs> cool. Signing people up for their services. And some espresso. Very, very cool. Look at like these t-shirts and stuff. They're for sale too. Cool. Bone rattle, oh my gosh, look at this. People are just slowly flowing into these different stores here. There's bone rattle for ya. And over here is... <laughs> 
one of the local bookstores. So even the businesses are still open. So if you want to come down and take a break from the busyness on the street, you can. And just dip it into these businesses. That's why there's probably such a lineup over at JJ Bean. Here's the Carisdale Lumber. <laughs> They're selling pizzas in an oven. There's the oven right there for you. <laughs> Very cool. What's over here? Oh, this is where you got come on over and get some brew, apparently. And some beer tickets. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like the Prado's just packed. And there's another live streamer right there. <laughs> Our videographer. <laughs> cool. Here's Ollie Quinn. They got a store right over here. Somebody's walking into me from behind. Got pissed off. <laughs> Aw, they must be a lonely soul. That's a lonely soul in the gray in the pants. <laughs> Very cool. Rhythm and Spice sounds like they got some uh, drum music over there. I'll be looking forward to that later. I haven't had Jamaican drum in quite a long time. I used to hear it all the time in downtown Vancouver. Uh, it looks like we got another thing. If it sounds too copyrighty, I gotta stop. But the crowd's fairly loud, so I might be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's live, so it's not as much of a problem. So I'll just keep talking over it, folks. So sorry I can't stop the pause. But there's like, there's like stuff right there. Like, look at that. She's awesome. This is crazy. <laughs> crazy, awesome. Good stuff. Uh, somebody's walking around with the pride flag. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> That's awesome. This area is queer friendly, so uh, it's a good area to come to. Of course, what would a festival be like in Canada without a little bit of cattle corn? Okay, you can judge the prices for yourself right there. <laughs> very, very cool. So we're approaching East First Avenue now, so hitting the hitting the middle of the drive, in the middle of Little Italy proper now. Uh, I used to be from First Ave to Sixth Ave in the south, but now uh, Little Italy is a whole lot larger. It goes all the way up to Venables. So, very, very cool. Looks like the social's got a bunch of loud music playing here. Very social today. Wow. Here, you can get some popcorn over here. You can also pick up a cup. Oh, and there's juice. Iced juice tea, so cool. There's another stage over here with live music. So, that's very, very cool. They're gonna keep going though, because they're really good, and that's probably gonna be a problem for me live streaming. <laughs> of course, Cobb's Bread is down here for all the Toronto fans of Cobb's Bread. And they got a stall today. Looks like they got a few. No, they don't have their samples. They're all out of their samples. <laughs> Sorry, I had to stop for short people. <laughs> yes, short people are here too. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> Lots of different vendor stands. So this is festival proper. Usually I can cover the drive in 20 minutes. Let's go over here and just check out the side street for a minute. See what some of the action is over here in the patios and stuff. 
Oh wow, just look at this. All of these stores are just packed. And there's lineups for most of them. And a lot of them have security. <laughs> Very cool. If you do want to get a little faster around here, this is definitely the way to go. There's the red burrito for you. Of course, they're keeping East First Ave open, so if you do need to get down here, looks like it's moving fairly quickly today, so this is one way you can get down here. And this, of course, would be Commercial Drive and East First Ave. Yeah, we're getting the way through from the cops. They're doing the lights today. <laughs> that would make sense. <laughs> we'll go back over here and check this out. Hey 420 Joker, nice to see you too. Yeah, it's a... Uh, thank you for wishing me a wonderful day. I really appreciate it. And it is a really nice day down here at the Italian Day Festival here on Commercial Drive. There's a few more people that have come into the room, so just let you know we're on Commercial Drive here. Okay. Just checking my microphone for a sec here. Oh my gosh, they got mango on a stick. Bay, bay. Look at what they got. You would be loving this. So bay, if you're watching, you'd be loving it. And it's only $5 for a whole mango. That's very cool. Very, very, very cool. <laughs> and they got like a lineup, look. <laughs> and this line's long. All these people want mango on a stick. <laughs> or they're standing in line wondering what they're going to get. <laughs> if you want some tacos, there's Laz Mesa Calaria. Still learning it. i got to practice it a few times. And then I'll have down the pronunciation properly. And they're moving through fairly quickly and they got a bit of a line too that goes all the way back. Nice. So this is a one day event down here. It happens from 12 p.m. today till 9 p.m. today. There's live music, there's shops, there's stalls, there's food. Come on down, you can go into the businesses behind the stalls as well. Oh my goodness gracious. They got, it looks like souvlaki over here. Very, very cool, very, very cool. I'm gonna keep walking because the music played. <laughs> Looks like I can take a little bit of a dip over here. The one thing that isn't open is the produce stores. <laughs> Here's the produce store, that's of course closed today. <laughs> oh no, the doors are still open. Ah, they said the door was closed. <laughs> or Fraser. <laughs> There's just lineups after lineups here. I gotta find my way back into the funnel. <laughs> There's the funnel for you folks. Oh, we're going into the heart of it now. This is the thick of it, right here. Looks like there's ice cream from Delosli Amore. And they got a shop just behind there too. Oh wow, just look at this. <laughs> I 
So meta right now. So meta. <laughs> I'm loving it. This is hilarious. <laughs> hey Dutch Kevin, you're doing the night shift today, eh? Very cool, very cool. Looks like the barbecue's roaring over here. Look at the smoke coming off of it. Oh wow. There's some of the food right there for you. So good, so good. Skewers. Very cool. <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit. You missed the 30 minutes, well, you're able to come into the stream tonight and not. when you can come. What's this event? This uh, Dutch Kevin and everyone else is just coming to the stream because a few other people have come too. We're on Commercial Drive here in Vancouver. It, this is called Little Italy as well, or The Drive. So it's got a few names, Little Italy, Commercial Drive, The Drive. And uh, this is their... <laughs> that. Maneuver, but you gotta walk slowly. So you oh, wow. Wow, it's very crowded. Yeah, it's very way through here. Super, a little. A little. <laughs> Head on over to the. That's wow. I'm just going to take a break right here, folks, for a minute. See what's going on. Now it's better, eh? Yeah, it's when I got away from the people. I see, I see. Thanks, Dutch Kevin. Very helpful. Yeah, the KPSs are starting to pick up again. KBBSs? Mm-hmm. They were down. Vancouverites too. They're taking breaks. <laughs> yeah, it is a nice part. <laughs> okay. Stream settings look normal. It's just the amount of dead people that were over there, literally. Just eating up all of the KPBSs. Ah, <laughs> so many people. Just so many people. <laughs> Down here. Some settings, folks. There's eight people watching. <laughs> Checking some streams here. It is right there, eh? Interesting. If we keep moving. There we are, that's a... Just gonna keep watching.
There we go. Now back to normal. <laughs> Tricky. <laughs> There we go. It's getting a little bit better. Yeah, it's getting into the thousands again. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> now we're back. Yeah. That was intense. Looks like uh, the live stream is back up and rolling. <laughs> wow, that was Italian Day Festival, there's a clear image again, good to say. Well, that was the Italian Day Festival. <laughs> Let's head on over to Sunrise Hastings neighborhood, where things will be a little more stable. <laughs> Maybe head on over to the P&E Grants for a little bit. Yeah, so we're over here on Templeton, so if we just head north on Templeton over here, then we can head on over to uh, Sunrise Hastings. <laughs> Check out that neighborhood. We just gotta go this way. You almost got a headache from... Well, you know what? You, like, you try these things with the live streams, and they're not always perfect. So... Sorry folks, there was a few issues with the live stream over at Italia Festival. Check it out for you folks for a little bit, but then it just overwhelmed the stream. Seems to still be overwhelming the stream just a bit. Yeah, so I don't think I'll be doing live events very often <laughs> anymore like that. I'll definitely come back there in like an hour and do like a video for recording for you folks and make a video out of it. I'm just going to walk one more block to get away from um, the crowds that will still be on the drive because we haven't quite reached Venables yet. And it seems the further away I am the better that things roll. <laughs> so, good to know. Okay, so this thing in the world, I know, but uh, at least we're getting... It was a network overload.
<laughs> oh wow, that was amazing. That was amazing. We're over here on uh, Nanaimo Street. <laughs> oh wow, that was, that was, that was so intense, so intense. <laughs> now it looks like it's back to normal, let's see what's going on here. I'm actually just doing a little bit of learning myself right now folks. So if you're here, thanks for coming along. If you aren't, don't worry about it anymore, okay? This is more of an ex Jerome learning what's going on and figuring it out as we go. Just to see. Anyways, we're on Nanaimo Street here. Yeah, looks good now. Seems a little bit better. We got a nice mountain view. So that's good to see. Nice clear view. Strong. So, I'm just gonna go to the other side of the street and then I'm just gonna head up to uh, the East Village. Okay, and head on away from Italian Day Festival. Showing you a little bit of the East Village. <laughs> we'll just have to walk up the Nymo Street for a little bit to get up there. <laughs> wow, that was intense. That was intense. <laughs> well, I hope you folks got uh, at least a little bit of the Italia, Italian Day Festival there. Got to enjoy a little bit of it. Doesn't look like my uh, heavy duty equipment. Oh wow, it's cutting out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah folks, I'm just gonna finish the live stream right now. And uh, just chill out, because uh, there's, there's too many cell phones in one area on the east side of Vancouver and like it's sucking all of the juice from uh, from the lines like we're not like Toronto over here we got uh, a very 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 limited amount of bandwidth so I, I'm gonna shut uh, shut this down okay and I'll see you folks in the next live stream I'll do one later in the week when there's not gonna be as many people out on the street Okay, like Italian festival, but I'm gonna head on back over there now so I can at least record a video for you. So talk to you later folks. I'm gonna end the live stream.